What's happening guys? So, I had this thought in me for a little while. I thought I might as well share it. Because, for me, um, and I'm pretty sure everyone of my friends know this, because, um, sometimes love can have, like, can have full of complex for, like, for any certain things. Exactly, like, for, like, you know, love for friends, love for family, love for life, you know, love for any kind of pet, just any kind of love. Like, love has, like, like a chain reaction of all the different things that you love in your life. And life, too, in general. Um, but sometimes that we people, us individuals, know that love is complex. We all can understand that love can sometimes be hard to find and hard to accomplish in your life. Because, you know, sometimes love just, you, can't, you just can't, you can't just strive for love. You have, there has to be certain steps that you need to take to find that, that certain love you want. Whether if it's for love for your friends, love for your family, you know, like for love for like a relationship, you know, like, like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, something like that. There are certain steps for every individual chain to get to that point, you know. And I don't know, I don't know why, but I had this thought in mind, and I thought I might as well share it for everyone else, mostly for my Facebook, you know, sometimes, possibly for our YouTube, or possibly for our Twitter. But mostly this is for Facebook, and I thought, you know, I might as well have to share this, because most of my friends, or possibly all of my friends on Facebook, will probably understand this. Love can actually be really complex in any way, really. Um, sometimes love can be a point where there's something special that is about to happen in your life. But, however, Sometimes, when you're going through your future, it can change everything. It can actually bypass you into your past, and you may miss it. And there's always, there has to always be an opportunity of finding that certain love in that way. But, however, like I said earlier, there are certain steps that you need to follow and you need to accomplish and to strive for that life. Sometimes we don't get so lucky. Sometimes people get unlucky. Other people can be lucky. Some other people can think the way that either they, they're they confident they're finding love or just, you know, they don't think they deserve it. And most likely I'm one of those people. I'm like one of those people that who doesn't deserve love, you know. Not like I know I know I have love for family, my friends, and for my pets and all, but sometimes for me the chain reaction doesn't really complete for me, you know. Cause for me, I don't think I deserve like the, the kind of love where to the point where I can actually be in a relationship, like, you know, as I said boyfriend, girlfriend, and husband, and wife, something like that. I don't think that I don't, I don't have the encouragement or the opportunity of completing those two chains because, you know, we, sometimes we, we have certain, like, different thoughts on whether we deserve it or whether or not we should, you know, worry about it, some, something like that, but we all have a certain thing for love in general. Because love is a whole, as I said, chain reaction to certain things, like love for life, love for your own life, for example. Actually, that's one of the good examples that you actually should love for, your own life. Because sometimes if you don't like your own life, or if you don't like your hobbies, like something like Something that you are talented for, 
something that you um, have a capability of loving for. And, you know, you, you kind of have to deal with it because you only live once. And if that's all you have, that's all you have. The only thing that we need to do with our lives is just to live through it. We can change our future. We can arrange stuff around. Like for me, I always think that God, like, creates stories for each individual. You know, I always think that he has a massive, massive filing cabinet where he keeps, like alphabetically, he keeps all his files where, like, each and every individual file holds a story for each and every individual one of us, like for me, for example. You know, I always imagine that he not only keeps on track or something like that, but he also um, changes our future as we move. Not only him does that, but us individually, because the only thing that we cannot change is our past, because our past is, you know, gone. It's, we can't go back. You know, for always for me, like, the other post I made on Facebook, the recent post I made, like, a few months back, I believe, um, I always believed that I loved 8th grade. I loved my life in 8th grade. Like, all, from the first days of 8th grade to the last day of 8th grade. You know, all those things in my life, in school or out of school, I don't care, but anything that I have done in 8th grade, I thought it was the greatest time of my life. Even my grades, too. I thought those were pretty amazing. No C's, no D's, no F's, all A's and B's. I thought those were a huge part of me. But unfortunately, I cannot go back to the point where I had one of the most fun times of my life. Like I said, in school or out of school, I don't care. But I believe one of the most fun times I had in 8th grade was, you know, visiting a friend of mine, Jacobs. I think that was pretty much the most fun time I had. Now, the thing I had in mind for quite some time for a while, I think, I'm, you know, a few weeks, I had this thought for a while to say that, what do other people think about love in general, you know? What do they think? Do you think they they want to have love, or do they, you know, do they don't deserve it, or what do, what do they think, is my question. Because I believe that most people should have love for life, you know, for anything in general, but the question is, who else thinks of love, you know? Like, any kind of love, as I, as I said, I'm talking about, like, in general, like friends, family, pets, relationships, you know, something like that. What do they think? I think they should have love for their own. Like their own lives is how I think they should like love their own. The most important thing that you should love about is your life, your family, just everything, everybody around you that cares for you deeply. And you know, it's, I don't know why, but I had this thought for a while, and I thought I might as well have to share it for you guys, my, obviously my Facebook friends. This is mostly for Facebook, I, I may put it on YouTube, if it's on YouTube that's good, that's okay, you know, that's, these are my thoughts, like, love is complex, and we cannot deny that, we cannot deny the feeling that love is complex, and it's not easy to accomplish in our life. And that's for me, for example. You know, sometimes I have thoughts on, like, like how 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 it turn out, like how how is it going to be in my life? You know, how is it going to start? Is my question for myself. For my life. Um, how is it going to start? Like, how how will we know? Is the question. We all have these questions about this certain thing. Like how will it start? Not everything is true, well, as I'm saying right now, but we all can't not deny the fact that it is complex. 
and it's not really easy to get. You know, it, we we have to work for it. You know, if there's something that we want in life, we have to work for it in order for us to get that. That's the same thing with love. You know, we all have to work for things that we want. So for me, for example. I always want to accomplish every goal that I have, like complete school, you know, get up my dream job, you know, something that I really want in my life. Not so much for love, because, you know, for me, as an individual, I really don't think I deserve the, that kind of love, you know? This is my own opinion, really. I mean, other people can disagree with me, other people can agree with me, but you know what? I don't care what you guys think. For me, as an individual, I really don't think I really deserve that kind of love. As like in for relationships, of course. Family, friends, uh, pets, for l my own life, life in general, I believe that, you know, it's, mo it's, it's important to me. You know, it's family especially, of course. Friends and family, that's the top two on my list of love that I really want in my life. And, you know, sometimes we have our own likings for, you know, love in general. And, you know, it's pretty much what I had in mind of love in general because we, the only thing that we know about love is that we cannot deny the fact that it is complicated and complex. Not only that itself it is complex, but striving or getting the love that you want is also complex. When something is complex in general, the work for it always has to be complex in any way possible. Uh, for me, you know, I really don't care. If I complete it, I complete it. If I fail it, you know, I fail it. You know, there's other things that I want in my life. Any kind of like relationship love, I'm not really striving for that or am I really looking forward to completing that goal because I, you know, as I said, I really don't deserve that kind of love, you know. As I said, people can get lucky. Some people can get unlucky. You know, people can be like, like, you know, this is stupid. Why, why, why would everyone strive for this? Why would work, you know, work for this? You know, people have their own Vikings of love in general. You know, and I had, I, I, I had this thought in mind because, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to shout this out. I didn't want to keep this in mind for any while longer, so I thought I might as well have to share this for everyone. On, mostly on Facebook, as I said, possibly our YouTube and Twitter, but mostly this is for Facebook because sometimes, you know what, I'll share this on, on YouTube and Twitter too. It's online either way, if it's on Facebook too, so. So this is the thought I had in mind, so I thought I might as well share it because we cannot deny the fact that it is complex. We cannot, we can't blame that. None of us can, because if it is what it is, then we cannot deny that. And for me, I sometimes think that I really don't deserve that kind of love. You know, the, the, the relationship kind of thing. But in general, all the love in general, every chain reaction, every step, it is what it is. It has to be for the sake of just stuff in general. So I thought I might as well share this because people need to understand that love is not easy to get. And any of you teenagers who find your girlfriends, stop. It's not the it's not the best time, really. Trust me, it's not the greatest time. Because obviously, I had a girlfriend when I was like a little kid. Because obviously, I don't know why, but I don't know how it all started or how we met. We all need to understand that nothing lasts forever. This goes to mostly teenagers. Those dumbass teenagers out there. To those teenagers, we need to understand that love doesn't last forever. And, I'll, and if, if any of you fudgers have a girlfriend right now, then the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm not saying that it's, it's bad to have a girlfriend at that time. Like, so, like, people, if anyone has a boyfriend or girlfriend or is in like a relationship or something, I, I believe that's like the worst time to find a relationship for that. You know, because it's, it's stupid, it's not going to last forever, it's not going to last as long as, like, you know, marriage or something, because... Also, another thing about relationships, for me as an individual, um, I think it's not really worth it, you know, because 
We all know that it's not gonna last forever. It's not really worth it if, like, when you're married one day, you're you're eventually going to get in a divorce with because that's everyone else's family, of course. That's my my parents too, because they're divorced too. That's probably the worst time of my life. That was probably the worst day that things have changed over the past four years. And I really want things to be back to the way they were. But you know what? We all, we all have to deal with it. Because once we choose a route throughout the future, we can't go back. So unfortunately, this is where I am now. So I hope you all understand why I made this and why love is complex. Because we cannot deny that. None of us can. Because if it is what it is, then that, that's it. It, it's, it is what it is. So we the question I'm asking is what do you what do you guys have thoughts on for love in general? You know, from life, uh, family, friends, relationships, something like that. Uh, what, what are your guys' thoughts? Is the question I'm asking. You don't have to you don't have to blur anything out because it's if it's your own personal thing, it's your own, it's your own personal thing. You don't have you don't have to share it. As I'm saying, I'm not asking for anything or thoughts. I'm just, I'm just sharing my thoughts out, you know? I'm not asking for your guys's too. So, I hope you guys will understand. And as you watch this, and we all, as I said, cannot deny the fact that love is complex.